We talked to him, we ate with him after he came back from the dead. That's their testimony. And they died for it. They did not die for a lie. They died. People will lie for, a, for either they have ulterior motive because they're gaining something from that lie, or because they're stupid and they believe something, or it's true. Those are your three choices. Pick one. Shall I? Right. So among those people who believed in the crucifixion of Christ... The no, eyewitness is not a belief. Okay, please go back to your definition. Eyewitness is not a belief. If I say I saw uh, him kill him, right. who? that doesn't mean that okay. I believe he killed him. Who saw it's him? Because I saw it okay. happen. Who saw him crucified? All these disciples. Name me one. All of them. No, name me one. Okay. Their testimony Name me says one. Jesus rose from the dead. Name me one who saw crucifixion. All of them. Name me one. All of them. Now, I want the name. Then I will press on my next question to you. Name me one. What? You, uh, Peter. Peter. John. Fine, fine. Peter. So you consider Peter to be an eyewitness account? Go on. Yes, no, no, I'm asking you. Yes. Do you consider Peter himself yes. with his own eyes saw the crucifixion? Yes. Right. Where is his account that he wrote that I saw crucifixion happening? Okay. So why would he come back and say that uh, Jesus came back from the dead? Oh, so you're saying that he doesn't know that Jesus has actually never died. I'm asking you a simple okay. question. Well, I'm trying is to it difficult for you to understand? Okay. I'm asking so you, where is the account? Enough. Peter was stupid enough to believe that Jesus actually died and came from, and then died for that stupid belief. That's your theory. I am asking Perfect. you simply, no, you are asking where you simply is the account? Say, Look, in any court of law, what you need to substantiate is with a written account of Peter, who wrote that I saw crucifixion of Christ with my very own eyes, and he's written it. So where is that account? That Actions speak louder than no, words. I don't want actions. I want okay. That's fine. evidence. Whatever you don't want, evidence. you can pick and choose evidence. whatever you want. Evidence, evidence is, it is in court of law. Mm. If you go there and say, in front of the judge, if the Roman judge is judging you, let's say you're Peter, and you go to the, 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 the uh, Roman court and they said, you have to worship Caesar. He said, no, he's not God. Who's God? Jesus is God. He came, he came back from the dead. We are going to kill you if you say that again. I will say it again. End of story. So, so this intellectual bankruptcy is self-evident here now, isn't it? I am asking you, if you really believe okay, in your belief to be true, let me finish. You are intellectually let me finish. dishonest. Let me finish. Go with your dawa. It's okay. Hang on. Your dawa. Why, why are you so insecure? You can go ahead and edit it out. Why are you so insecure? I'm not insecure. Uh, then you let are me finish insecure. Then. Let me finish then. What? You are repeating the same. I'm not repeating. Subject. Look, I don't know. I asked update. you. I asked you. I gave you. So basically, address my point. what a failure, address my what a point. failure. You can't address Is there that. any other Christians in the park who can point. share a single evidence? Any other Christians in the park? Obviously, this gentleman I is, it to you. is an utter failure utter in providing failure. a single People testimony. People dying for their belief, saying I saw the person and everything is and that utter makes it failure. True? That makes it true? No, it doesn't. What makes oh, it no, true? Oh, no, it doesn't make it true. Oh, what doesn't make it true for you? Let's understand one thing. Okay, if they were in the court of law, they were asking them, why do you say this? How can somebody come back from the dead? They said, no, I saw him from the, coming back from the dead. And the court of law will you accept? If you say that again. And they will accept it being true. Why would they do that? One second. OK, are you saying the apostles were wait, crazy? Wait, 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 wait. Either they were crazy. Let's slow down. Three choices. Let's no, slow down. No, 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 let's not slow Don't down. Don't go to your you know, to evangelical Dawa script. He's three, reading from a script three, that he's three, learned from some, some guy over Either here. Either you're crazy, or they're lying, or it's the truth. Pick what? one. Um, I'll, I'll, give, one. I'll give the fourth option. No, there's three options. Why? Give me the fourth option. Hang on, hang on. Okay, let me hear the fourth. Hang okay, on. don't let me give you get, give me the fourth option. So you are saying these disciples? No, no. Don't start with you are saying. Give me the fourth option. Of what? Of these three options. No, no. Give me the fourth. Give me the scenario. scenario. You guys are bankrupt. Muhammad is a false prophet. Um, listen. Forget it. You My have friend, a scenario. The conversation. You have a scenario. No, you are trying to you win have a lost conversation. You have lost the debate. You just don't want to accept and it. How is it lost? And you are you are just keep on. how you is just it lost? Keep going on how is it with lost? the same. I, you, I gave you three options. You said I have a fourth option. Of what? You don't have a fourth option. I do. Okay, give it to me now. The fourth option now. is this didn't happen. Huh? This didn't happen. Okay. And why would these people then um, uh, die for something that didn't happen? Uh, I'll tell you. Are you going to listen? Right. So this man is going to show some character integrity and listen to what I have to say. There are many people from many cultures, from many religions, they would die for their faith. Whether you agree with their faith or not, 
They are ready to die for their faith. Muslims will die for their faith. They were ready to die for Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, as evident from the hadith literature of Islam. There are many Hindus who will die for their faith. There are many Sikhs who will die for their faith. There are many people who will die because they believe in something dearly. It doesn't make it true just because they hold it to be true by themselves. I'm not finished yet. So your argument that if we find a community like the Hindus who, for, who die for their belief in worshiping a monkey god, for example, you will say that makes the monkey god to be true. But you and I know, individual like this gentleman is not going to accept that. He will say, just because people believe and they die for that belief, it doesn't make it true. Likewise, my answer to you is simple. You can have any number of people in any faith, they can die for their faith, it doesn't make their belief to be true at all. What it shows and demonstrates is that these people had a conviction in their belief. So now, because I asked you to provide a single evidence of eyewitness testimony and, and you provided none, zero. So you as a Christian, you are not even able to provide a single shred evidence for your own belief. Pathetic, isn't it? Are you finished? Yes. Thank you. Can I speak now without getting interrupted, okay? All right. So he said Hindus die for their religion, Muslims die for their, even some atheists, they might die for whatever the atheists believe. That's true. That's absolutely true. Humans do self-sacrifice all the time. Why? Because they believe in something to be true. That's why. However, these 12 people who died, they did not die for their belief. They died for eyewitness. Like I said before, if I said this guy, I saw him kill this guy, that means I saw it. It's not I'm saying, I believe this guy killed this guy. I'm going to believe it. I'm going to die for that belief. No, I'm saying I saw it. And, and somebody comes and says, you cannot say you saw it. That's wrong. And I said, no, that's true. And I die for that. That's not a belief. That's eyewitness testimony in a court of law. End of game. Finish. No, no, no. no let's no, no. let's no, analyze what you just what? said. Let's understand. I'm sure you're quite familiar. You were going to give me a fourth option. Listen, listen. You didn't give me the fourth option. Why are you now? I just... Don't, you, your I fourth option is you, gone. I your expect, fourth option is gone. I expect, let's get back to the fourth option. I expect that you're going to let me no, finish let's without get back interrupting to the fourth option. rudely. So, so far... Thank you. Without any interruption, being rude, very no, good. Fourth option. So now, fourth option. Get, where is my fourth so option? So you're interrupting. Give me the fourth option. So he doesn't want me to interrupt him, but he wants to interrupt me all the time. You did interrupt me. Did I interrupt him? Yeah, they will say it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. They're your eyewitnesses, aren't they? What do you think? Did I interrupt you? Yes. When? When I was talking. <laughs> He's good. It's okay. It's okay. I apologize for that interruption that okay. you, 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 you thought I That's did. Yeah. Maybe you're imagining things. Allahu okay. yeah, Anyway, okay. fine, fine, fine. I mean, I, I don't remember interrupting Where's my fourth you. option? Let's go to the fourth option. Don't interrupt when I'm talking. No, no, no. Listen. Don't interrupt. I'm talking. I'm going to so interrupt. I asked you for a fourth option. I'm talking. You gave me a fourth option. I dismiss your fourth um, option you completely. Did. You did. You did. You did. You did. Okay. Give me the fourth option again then. Uh, I'm, I'm giving you a chance to give me a fourth option again. Uh, wait one second. That's all. I am don't talking. Don't go here, there, and this guy. I am. His mother didn't teach him manners. Don't do that. I am talking. Okay. So do not do interrupt. That. Save that for your mama, the drama. Um, okay. Save it for her. For me, give me the argument. Where's my fourth sure. argument? Give it to me so, now. So listen. Give me my fourth argument now. Okay. Give me the fourth option now. Are you finished? Go ahead. And only the fourth I'm option. Not, are you if finished? You, if you don't give me the fourth option, I will interrupt. If you give me the fourth option, I'll be quiet. That's my deal. That's my deal. Take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. Take it or leave it what? Yeah. Either give me the fourth option or I'm going to interrupt you. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. If he gives me fourth option, I will be quiet. Let him speak now. Okay, let him speak now. Did you not just say you've debunked my fourth option already? Did you not say that? Yeah. So you've already answered my fourth option. So it's already debunked. According to your you know, intellectual civility in your head, you've debunked it. Now, so I want to analyze without any interruption. I don't want to analyze anything. I what want you just a fourth said. option. It was dismissed. You do not have a fourth it option. It was dismissed. I don't want to go on. It was all dismissed. Day. You so don't now have a fourth option. I'm going to analyze what there's you three said. options. Either lie, they're crazy, you or are, the truth. You are, either they're lying, you they're crazy, or they're truth. You, you got the fourth option, give it to me. Sure. So are you going to keep quiet? Okay. The fourth option is 
I'm going to give it to you after an analysis of what you just said. No, I'm not going to listen to the analysis. I want the fourth option now. Why not? Why are you afraid? No, no, no. I'm not afraid. Because afraid? you don't have a fourth option. I dismiss your fourth option. You don't have it. Right. You're trying to play circles. Uh, hang on, no, hang on. I'm not playing the game. Listen. You have listen. you have one option. Sure. I'm going to interrupt if you don't give me the fourth um, option. If you don't so have a fourth option, what's your I'm going to interrupt. What's your name? What does that mean? What is your name? Christian. No, what is your name? Christian. Just call me Christian. Is that your name? Your mama gave you? No, no, no. I'm Christian. What Just is your mama? Say, your mama Mr. Gave you? Christian. Your say Mr. Christian. Is that what your name is? No, no you're going to address me as such. Is that what your name is? That's what you're going to address okay. me. Okay. My name is Mansoor. Pleased to meet you all online and here. And this is a person who is very unwilling to Mr. give his name. Mr. Christian. Mr. Christian. So there now, it's okay, brother. Thank you. So Mr. Christian, if you're not afraid to have a discussion with a Muslim okay, who... Okay, listen. I told you for the fourth option or I'm going to interrupt. This is going to end in the next 10 seconds. Go. If there is no fourth go, option, go, go. if there's no, there is no fourth option. No, no. There is no fourth no option. One, I'm not Three interested. options, take it or leave it. See you later. Three options. Take See it later. or leave it. Three options. Um, He's lying to you. Just look at the camera and say bye-bye. Three options. Yeah. Take those three options. Just say bye-bye to everyone the, uh, before you go. The were lying or they were crazy yeah. or they were telling the That's truth. Right. Ask him for the fourth option. Okay. Right. So now for He's those... running away. He doesn't have the fourth option. Yeah, yeah, I'm running. Right? I'm running. Anyway, Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu wa rasulillah, wa salatu wa salamu wa ala rasulillah. Um, brothers and sisters and friends, what you've just witnessed here is nothing new. I have witnessed this for almost two decades here in the park. It is nothing new. When you engage with a Christian or a non-Muslim, to be precise, what we see is this insecurity. What we see is this reluctance to share evidence of their belief. I asked him, as we started there, you believe in the crucifixion of Christ, give me an eyewitness testimony, who saw the crucifixion with their own eyes, and written about it, and we can read their reports. Instead, he gave me Matthew, Luke. Matthew and Luke were no eyewitnesses. They're third party writers, authors. They're writing about people who claim to have seen the crucifixion. So that is not acceptable in a court of law. We want direct eyewitness testimony. If someone got murdered here, and your friend says over there, you know what? My friend saw it. It happened. Is that a direct eyewitness testimony? It's not. It's not going to be acceptable. Then, the Mr. Christian went on to share another piece of incredible evidence, which is people's belief and dying for that belief. And he agreed, people can, can believe in anything and die for that belief. It doesn't make it true. But rather than believing in it, he says, it was what? Because they were eyewitnesses. So why did they write, write anything? Do you have any of the writings? We don't. So, so far we have zero evidence for crucifixion. And I hope those of you who are Christians and you are watching this, you should be able to provide some eyewitnesses, right? You should be. Why is it you haven't got anything? Muslims here will challenge you for this belief that you have. This man even brought the Quran as an eyewitness. And what does the Quran say? And the ayah finishes by saying, They certainly did not kill him. They did not kill him. They did not crucify him. So how is the Quran an eyewitness of the crucifixion when the Quran says he wasn't crucified? The amount of desperation these people have to prove their belief is unbelievable. Instead of providing evidence for their belief, running around with this kind of intellectual bankruptcy. That's what it is. He's not being emotional. He's being childish. He's not just being childish. He is being like what an evangelical person is. Hit and run without saying, oh, give me the three options. Why did he not allow me to continue when my time came to speak? When he was speaking, I shouldn't interrupt. When I'm speaking, he's going to interrupt. Look at the double standards, people. If you are a Christian, and if this is your double standard, then shame on you. Shame on you. Have one standard for all. Otherwise, you are a hypocrite. So if you really want to engage with Muslims in a discussion to share your belief, have a 
one standard for all of us. So what was it then? He was analyzing all of this for what? To run away from this absolute failure of providing a single eyewitness account of crucifixion. Did anyone actually go and check his pulse? Allah Akbar! Allahu Akbar! Allah Akbar! You okay? Allah has given me permission! Thank you! To rule did, the world! Did anyone Allah has given me permission check to rule the, the world? The pulse of Christ that he was Allah crucified? Allah told me okay, brother, okay, you thank are Mahdi! Thank you! Allah told me I am Mahdi! Did anyone from Allah. Allah. Did Allah anyone check the pulse of Christ? And did they say there is no pulse? How do doctors today certify someone's dead? They don't see a person on the ground lying on the ground or on the bed and they think that's dead because that person could be unconscious, right? It doesn't make the person to be certified to be dead. You have to go and check their pulse, their breathing, their respiration. Did anyone do that? from those accounts that we have. No one. So all that you have is a rumor that Christ was crucified. No wonder the Quran talks about this rumor. The Quran says it was something that they thought they crucified Christ. Allah took him up. Allah took him up. And he is alive and will come back. And he will tell when he comes back to those Christians how wrong you were. You believed in someone wrongly with your mistaken perception. So what you need to do is use your critical thinking that God has given you.